Oh, so this is good. Worst possible matchup with a huge TV disadvantage. So this is a great one to test my positivity, isn't it? In the second, in the second game, but um, that's fair enough, isn't it? You expect to be down TV sometimes, so that is what it is. Just got to go on with it. Try and fucking play better. Uh, but it is obviously clearly a horrible, horrible match of this. Down 200 TV to lizard men is basically unwinnable. But what does he have? He has a reserve. He has an extra reroll. He doesn't have a lot of skills. He's only got one block. So his team actually isn't that good. Um, it could have been a much more TV efficient team. Much more TV efficient. He hasn't got a very good record with lizard men. So, you know, it could be a lot worse than this. So there is that. Um... So yeah, it. I wouldn't say it's bloat. I mean, you you do want the re rolls and you and everything, but yeah, it's not it's not as powerful as it could be, is it? Um, Hundred and ninety. I could I could get a star player, which might be good. Could get I could get um. No, two forty total. I couldn't get Zug. If I could have got Zug, I would have thought about it because you know all the turns of Zug might be better than one turn of a wizard. But I guess it's the threat of the wizard all the time. Um, this is going to be a hard game, so I guess getting a getting a babe isn't terrible. It's only ten k, isn't it, for the babe? Let's go. <laughs> Thank you very much, Tony. Um, there will be no marbles, no. Uh, good evening, Ducky. Um, oh, I didn't see what that... I, I can't see a lot of the chat, I'm sorry, because I, I don't have the bot set up yet. And, uh, yeah, so I'm going to miss a lot of chat. So I do apologise for that. Um, but, yeah, you know, and, and, and I... So, yeah, that's it. I want to get back to when I started and I was, I was all explaining everything and, you know, super helpful, analysing the game, being positive... All this kind of stuff. I'm going to kick and try and use my wizard to go 1-0 up. Um, hello, Jim. Have fun. Oh, God. He knows He knows my name. Um, do I want to stick the ogre on the line? That's the question, isn't it? It's, uh, it's interesting. I could try doing the offset LOS. I literally could try it. Do you know what? I could put the, uh, I could put the uh, thrower off on defense. So I've got him for the second half and put him up here. And I could do the offset LOS. Because that's gonna that might make it a bit easier to crack his uh his line if the you know get some pressure on with a wizard as well. Um let's try this. Let's try the offset LOS. Even though I normally wouldn't. Let's drop a hello with all caps. And, uh, yeah. So there you go. So I'm going to try and, I'm going to try and get back to original Jim rather than just being a meme lord or a whiny bastard or insulting any opponents. I really don't like all that shit. So I'm going to try and get away from it. Try to just be good. Yeah, I'm playing humans because, I, you know, people who've got the box set will have humans. And people say they're a good team for beginners. I don't think they are. Um, but they do at least have the different positionals and stuff, which is somewhat intuitive, isn't it? Um. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm going to try and be positive. Uh, Bible story. Oh, it can be a bit sarcastic, yes, of course. You know, I'm not going to be... You know, don't worry, I'm not going to be like the most boring man in the world or anything. That's another reference for you. <laughs> um, yes, of course, of course. There you go. Um, yeah, but, you know, I'm just not going to be an absolute whiny cunt. Yeah, Orcs are, Orcs are really good for beginners. I probably should have used Orcs because that is the good beginner team rather than humans, which are not the good beginner team. So I've already done the wrong thing by using humans. Um, <laughs> because yes, Orcs are the best beginner team. Um, 
and I have used not the best beginner team. Uh, eh. But the thing is, uh, all the teams pretty much play the same, I would agree. Yeah. Ogres no, Ogres no. Oh, wow, he's disconnected. Get up there, my son. This could be another great win. Uh, no, I didn't, to be honest, Jellio. Uh, what happened was, what happened was he messaged me on, on Facebook and said, uh, why don't we play up the fact that we're enemies? We can be like good cop, bad cop. You get to be the, the bad guy who everyone hates. He didn't say that, but now that I think about it, that was probably his intention, wasn't he? He comes out smelling of roses and I come out a little bit hated, but never mind. Um, but I never really did hate him. But then I thought that was a, it was maybe, I don't know. I don't know if that was maybe a little bit, he certainly got the better end of the stick there, didn't he? <laughs> but, you know, that was the idea to be like, you know, a wrestler that people love to hate, whereas I think maybe people just hated it and thought I was a cunt. Whereas I really, I really never was a cunt. But there you go. Um, dark elves are a bit... Dark... Uh, dark elves are a bit... Dark elves are a bit struggle a bit. Um, so there you go. Yeah, I would, I would say dark elves do struggle a bit before they get their skills. Like, sure, once they've got blood up, they're good. But until then, they're not as good as orcs. <laughs> well, no, a bit, you know, it's that, this is the problem, isn't it? The, 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 thank you very much. Uh, the, <laughs> the, uh, the lines got blurred, didn't they, Tony? Because obviously, you know, I'm not... I'm not a boring, uh, I'm not a boring politically correct person, but then also bits of it were hyped up, so it's not, it's not really, uh, it's not really clear where one line, where the line starts and ends, is it? But it's definitely, you know, I could have just streamed and not said anything at all. Do you know what I mean? Which is um, definitely nice guy Jim would just be an act. <laughs> I can't just be nice guy, Jim. I can't just sit here and be like the most politically politically correct guy ever and say, oh good, my best player's died. You know, I can't. <laughs> I'm not going to be like that. But um, I'm definitely a real American. I fight for the rights of every man. And uh, so, you know, there is that. But uh, yeah, I don't know. It's it's not... I have definitely haven't been as cuntish as... As uh, as I may have appeared, but I definitely have been as whiny. You know, I've definitely been as whiny as I've appeared. I haven't. That is something that I hate. I hate. I hate whiners, and I have been a whiny cunt. Um, I think I'll be knackered less, to be honest, as I go. I think I'll be knackered r less. For sure. I think for sure I'll be knackered less. But um, just but that's just going to be because I'm going to be. Uh, because I'm going to be exercising more and eating eating well. I'm going to make the fantastic diet. I can make YouTube videos of my cooking, the fantastic diet. Well, I haven't finalised it yet, but I'm going to combine all the best parts of all the different diets, you know, research it all and everything. And uh, I'm not saying that at all. No, Hannibal Selector, no. I'm not a massive racist like Terry Bollea. I'm like Hulk Hogan. That's the difference, see? Hulk Hogan is not Terry Bollea. That's the thing. See, um, so <laughs> yeah, good. So I'm gonna be doing that. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be smashing the exercise, and I might stream that as well. You know, uh, once I look more respectable. Um, <laughs> yeah, another twenty eight concessions <laughs> would be good. <laughs> I'm not saying that. I don't know how you leapt to that conclusion. <laughs> But I certainly haven't been injecting steroids in my butt for years, like uh, Terry Bullier. <laughs> Forget the blood ball, just do, just do cooking and weightlifting. Would be great, wouldn't it? Yeah, get fit. You come with Jimmy Fantastic will finally be happening. Yes, because I lost two stone with being ill. So um, I'm not going to call it a day on chicken breast, broccoli, and brown rice. No. Um, <laughs> It's not a very obvious dream, no. Face cam shows your shoulders, yeah. Um, offset LOS is just instant concession, isn't it? Boom. 
<laughs> Very good, yes. All the other butt stuff. Um, uh, no, but I'm going to focus on, uh, on, yeah, on the fitness and everything for sure. And we'll see what happens. But, yeah, you know, I've, I've lost two stones with being in hospital. Uh, basically getting starved for two weeks. So that was pretty good. <laughs> How much are you paying these guys? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for the bits. Not as much as that. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, do you know what? I did this time lemon is good, but I think I'm going to get more toenails removed. Um... Because the my fucking other toes are fucked as well. Yeah. Um, two star. <laughs> yeah, no, no. 28 pounds. Oh, shit, he's back. Oh, how disappointing. Oh. Oh. Damn. Damn. Uh. <laughs> so close to a right win. <laughs> Disaster. I have to actually play against Lizard Man. <laughs> See, but this has stopped uh, follow-up blocks, hasn't it, potentially? Um, if they're in the middle, he may have done diagonal blocks and got more blocks. Whereas this way he has chosen not to. I mean, he still could have blocked better than he has, but he has chosen not to, and it has, it has saved us from follow-up blocks potentially. Wow! What a great, what a great turn of getting punched. It doesn't get much better than that, does it? Well done, humans. Why is Dawn making the Hello blogs? Yeah, exactly. Straightforward is uh, is not the is not really the best way, is it? Is he going to tie up the ogre? Is he going to give us the ogre blitz? That's the question. Because I'm hundred percent taking the ogre blitz. Yeah, 11 men on turn one, outrageous. And he's failed the pick up. Will he waste a reroll? No. I think it would have rather been a waste at this point. Um, okay, safe moves first. Stand him up. Is he gonna block him, two assists? And then another player around, one, two, three players there. Player not, not needing there, because he's gonna blitz and then. Yeah, okay, so. Let's get these two lads in here. And then blitz the crocs. Pow! <laughs> get banged on, you prick. Hmm. This has the advantage of follow-up blocks punching this way. So I think I'm going to put him over here and then block without block, even though it's maybe not such a good idea. Good. So that keeps the non-follow from both sides. Okay, it was a KO. But the non-follow from both sides without being a knockdown means that the Crocs is stranded on a lino and the Og is free to move next turn, isn't he? Which is quite good. Get the knockdown there. And now hopefully, oh my god, the movement A catcher can get around here now. I didn't count the squares beforehand, I should have done. But yes, he can get around there. I mean, I did, I did leave the catcher there because he's movement 8. Um, I thought he might be able to get around. So there's just these two guys to move, isn't there, first? I don't really think there's a need to move them first. 
maybe maybe go here so they can't get an assist on the auger and him stay a little bit back because I've got quite a, a quite a push forward this side haven't I so I want to stay back the other side I don't want to overcommit so he got all pushes and I got all knockdowns incredible absolutely incredible and two AV breaks including a removal so incredibly lucky first turn well done me <laughs> Oh, and a bonehead. Outrageous. <laughs> Interesting that he does that blitz after firming the bonehead, because I think it would have been better for him to have done the blitz first and then try to move the croc somewhere better rather than just be stranded there. But he did not choose to do that. I can tell you've been practicing rolling dice, yes. Yes, good dice rolling so far. Very impressive. Very impressive dice rolling. So I actually can't reach with a blitzer one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It'd be a GFI to hit. And then with another G if I power him another GFI I could base the ball. Ha <laughs> ha we all know how good that is. Um Alright, this line oh. What one, two, three, four, five, six. So this line could actually come around and base if this one gets a knockdown, but he can't get the assists unless I blitz him first with the ogre. Is that a good idea? Maybe. Maybe an ogre blitz is an idea. Right, so there's a, there's a chance there, isn't there now? And let's just play it safe and base base the crocs with that guy, and then go for the risque ogre blitz. Um, which means that this guy can base a skink. And this guy can base a skink. Get up there. Good ogre mans. Right, get into all the get into all the lizard men's. That seems like a good idea, doesn't it? The bad thing here is having to base this this guy with a uh, with a blitzer. But I think it's probably worth it. He can base him. And he can be a safety. Right, so the question is where to push, who to chain away. I guess chain the ogre is the best bit. And put the ogre up here. Because there's still a screen here, so putting him there wouldn't have really made a lot of difference. I guess he can blitz and base here, four or five. So maybe I'll bring him back a little bit more. A bit too far back, really, but it stops 
one, two, three, four, five, six. He can still be based by him, but he can't. The Crocs can't base him then. Yeah, sorry, I can't really respond to chat. I can only see chat when it's on the screen, so. <laughs> Unfortunately, I missed everything there. But I'll get I'll get a Streamlabs chatbot sorted out soon. Looking like next turn could be a wizard turn, doesn't it? I mean, I might not even need the wizard if he just fails something. This is really good, actually, isn't it? This ogre because he can't hit the ogre, but next turn I can hit hit this saurus, power him to there, and then get him free, and then make a two dice block there and free him, or, or yeah, sorry, hit him and then power him to there, and then have all three free. Yeah, that's better, isn't it? He can block him next turn and free all three linos up. Um, now obviously he might block here and stuff, but it's kind of it's still potential to free them up. Oh, he makes the dodge. Imagine if he'd fail that dodge. Been pretty good. Blitzing the ball carrier. Risky. If he fails this dodge, he's in a world of hurt. Could even uh, chain the ogre, maybe, couldn't I? Could chain the ogre free. All sorts of things could be possible. Come on, fail the dodge. Oh. This isn't a cage, though, is it? He has made a non cage here. Um, so this is an easy two dice on the ball, so I guess I won't. Um, I guess I will not use the wizard, even though it wouldn't be a bad wizard, would it, with uh, three players underneath? But I'm just gonna hit. I'm just gonna get two dice on the ball, <laughs> really easily. Um, I right, stand him up first. Stand him up and punch him. Just need a push. Got him. So yeah, he's not even in a cage. Um. The question is, do I re-roll on the hit? Can he score next turn? No. So I guess I don't re-roll the hit. No. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm. Maybe one behind. Right, so now this is the push play, isn't it? Where does he go then? He has to go somewhere useful. It's pretty marginal wherever he goes. I guess this is better than nothing. Yeah, it is deafening clicks. I do actually have my good mouse with me. I just haven't um, set it up yet. Hi, right, three three uh, guys free is amazing, isn't it? So they can really gum up all these players. And... He can go in there. 
And yeah, I'll, I'll get a better mouse. I'll be right back. Right, now I've got my silent mouse. Brilliant. Controlling the control team. Yeah, he's pretty... I mean, you know, he, he didn't get knockdowns and I did. And I got, he didn't get removals and I did. So it's not been... You know, it's not been without luck, has it? But yeah, he's, his crocs has been isolated. Oh, and he's rolled a double skull there. That was that was good, wasn't it? Lucky, lucky for him, it was the block guy. <laughs> Imagine if he just started the turn with a 1 in 81. That would have probably been game over. Um, now he's in he's in dread, dreaded 1 in 9 territory now, isn't he? Because a 1 in 9 now, either a failed dodge or a failed 2 dice block, means that his ball carrier gets surfed 100% guaranteed. Uh, not actually not guaranteed, because that guy's got sidestep. Both the skinks have got sidestep means that he's not guaranteed to get surfed. Actually, I could bolt, could bolt the sidestepper and surf him. Um, he's done quite well here, though, hasn't he? But he's he's knocked them over, but he hasn't uh, he hasn't got a cage. He can retreat or he can potato, but he can't potato now. And the retreat is a bit risky, isn't it? It's a bit risque. He did well to knock all those guys down, to be fair. But yeah, the retreat is is risque for sure. Dodge, go on. Oh, yeah, exactly. I've definitely had the better look so far. But then you know you need that. Don't you? I, I say that, but he made all the rolls after using his reroll, didn't he? There, he got away, got away with that pretty much, I think. GFI to hit the ball. Might as well. Uh, the catcher can hit, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. GFI. I don't hate that. Um, these guys can base everybody. He has to stand up first, doesn't he? Oh, um, so my clicks aren't working. Okay, yes they are. That was weird because I could move the I could move the mouse, but not do the clicks. So now, now he's he's got this Crocs very good spot, isn't it? On two players instead of one crap one. Um, I could stand him up and stand him up and block him. That's okay. And then he could dodge as the last action of the turn, but he does have quite a good Saurus situation going on. He's going to go there for sure. He can block him and free him. So I think probably going in here is alright, isn't it? Oops. Going in here. Then he can block him and he can block him and he can free him. If he goes here, he can block him. He can... Yeah, they can't free each other, can they? If he goes here, this is the best place to stand, probably. Let's go there. I guess I could uh, bring an assist in there and try and one dice him. But he'll still be manned up onto a blitzer, which isn't ideal. If I just go for the dodge away to there, then he's going to be manned up on a liner, which is preferable, isn't it? I'd rather him to not be based if I fail. So let's go for the let's go for the catcher block.
Again, maybe I could have fireballed there. Three out of four skinks under it. But, um... With having a hit on the ball, it seems worthwhile to go for, doesn't it? Oh, there we go. Aha. Very nice. I thought that I'd take the boat down so there's more chance of getting tackle zones on it. Um, worked out quite well, didn't it? Right, so do I do the one dice block there? No, no. I think I think keep his keep his crocs tied up is the way. Now I have to re-roll a uh, a double skull here, don't I? But a bolt down wouldn't have been so bad. Oh, I should have pushed him there for the. I had it in my mind to push him here, but this would have been better, wouldn't it? Because then he. I could have, he'd been set up to get, he still gets set up to be served really, it just mean it moving somebody. And I think go for the four plus dodge away here. Fair enough. Yeah, I don't know why I thought that was a good idea to push him to there. Because he, he can make a one dice block, whereas there he could only make an uphill, couldn't he? This is, this is a much worse push square than there, so that was a mistake just by not thinking. Go me. Yeah, exactly, exactly, Jelly. I didn't want to fail the block, yeah, absolutely not. And the good thing is, with it, with it, with these two being on him, he, he couldn't free up Soros with blocks, could he? He needs to one-dice the ogre. Um, to free up with blocks. He's re-rolling for a pow. Ballsy. But obviously he's in, he's in a pickle, isn't he? And this gets a Saurus in there and gets a two dice block. Which is very desirable. Fails these dodges is is Saurus gets surfed, which is nice, isn't it? But yeah, I pushed him totally the wrong way. No, oh, he makes them both outrageous, outrageous. Oh, risky block in case he boneheaded. And he did one better than that, rolling the one in nine. Excellent. Right, so there's lots of things. There's possible blitzers and everything there, isn't there? There's even a possible fireball here with four, um, three skinks, four players. But the fact he's got two sidesteppers means that I'm unlikely to be able to clear the ball. Then I'll go for the punch and then see what happens. Oh, it was so close to a brilliant scatter, wasn't it? So close to a brilliant scatter. Um, I think he just wants to stand on it. So the blitz could come on here, couldn't it? Um, one, two, three. GFI. Blitz to there. Where does this guy go? Geofighter here. Geofighter there. Then it's harder for him to hit that guy. That seems like a better thing to do. Makes him hard to hit the blitzer. Alright, good. And I, I could just stand him up, I guess. And then it's going to be a two dice, isn't it? Into him blocking him and then him not GFIing, but then his crocs is free. 
If I GFI with him though, then I can base the croc. So this is a little bit greedy, but I still got my G I still got my uh, still got my rerolls. So this is a little bit greedy, but for some payoff, I think. I think there's payoff in that. I think this is the right move. Could be wrong though. Stranger things have happened. I just need to push that other guy, so yeah, that's, that's good. And he pushes, yeah. That was wrong though, wasn't it? Spot the deliberate mistake, I shouldn't have actually done that. I should have stood up this guy first, safe moves first. And now, the cheeky surf. It should have been a lot easier than that, really, but never mind. Big commitment now, isn't it? Three players over that side. So if he does get to... But then if he gets to break, I can wizard. And everyone else can just hold people up. It's all right. Make a mistake, call the dog police. I don't want to. I don't want to have a go at Dode either. We've had our differences, but you know that's it, isn't it? None of the sound uh, will. None of the sound things will work, Tony. Unfortunately, um, it would be a one dice block because the uh, the there's two Saurus there, isn't there? So I don't want to. Um, I don't want to risk a one dice, sir, <laughs> like he has. I mean, he kind of had to. To get the to get the Saurus involved, he kind of had to go for that, but with me not being able to re-roll it, I didn't want to. Yeah, next turn could be a wizard just to actually score. Obviously, I wanted to score without it, but then it's good to have it on my offensive drive because wizard men are better on on defense than offense. So, oh wow, quad skulls! <laughs> Technically, a one in twelve nine six chance, although um, it only had to be a one in eighty one for that to fail, didn't it? I could bolt the uh, the sidestepper and then um, block him and then pick it up, but I'm still I'm I'm gonna go I'm gonna try and be greedy there. I'm gonna try and be greedy here. Will he uh, use dodge? Is the question because he's getting surfed if he if he doesn't use it. I don't think I really need to blitz um, anybody else. Do I? I don't think so. Like he can go there, he can block him. And there's two tackle zones on the ball. He's in the mixer. Alright, so I can use the reroll and they're both down. It's obviously slightly worse hitting with the hitting with a lineman than a blitzer, but then it gets the blitzer into the into a much better space to do with the ball, isn't it? I think that's worth the trade off of the slightly the slightly riskier block. Off he goes. Mm, hit him to see if I have to follow up off the block or not. Ooh, got a pal. Oh wow, a KO! Ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho! Brutal, brutal removal there. Glorious, you might say. And now things are looking pretty. Decent, aren't they? Looking pretty good. They can just get punched, these linos. <laughs> yeah, because now three blitzers are around the ball. One's a sweeper, so... 
That's not bad, is it? That's what I wanted, really. I wanted three blitzes to pressure and one to be a sweeper. And he, it's a bit tricky for him. He, the, the good thing for him is that he's got the sidesteppers, which it does make it hard for me to clear the ball, doesn't it? But if I can hit them with, you know, a two dice block and then maybe a three dice with block. Yeah, obviously out bashing Lizzie's with humans, of course, helps a lot. I have been lucky. Um, don't get me wrong. I'm not downplaying how lucky I've been at all. One dice splits for the scatter. Dirty Dino. Literally. Literally, in this case, a dirty Dino. Clears a tackle zone. Stacking a bunch of dodgers. With no re-rolls. Well, I'm just trying. I'm just trying to bring it... Trying harder to make it bring me to a happy place, you know. Going into the thought process more and not the whining about dice. <laughs> oh, wow. Burning the one there. Expert. Expert move re using the one. Um, that's always a pro tip. If you're going to roll a one, make sure you activate your uh, big guy. To take that one. <laughs> and obviously blocking there is pretty standard, isn't it? Um, losing the bonehead isn't that bad there for him. Because it's already gone pretty badly for him getting out bashed by humans. This is great if he fails the dodge, isn't it? Because then it's a one less sidestepper. So if he kind of fails, fails one of these dodges... That would be very nice. And the fact he's stacked, he stacked everything is uh, is good. Good. <laughs> and he's boneheaded, so the recovery is on, isn't it? Alright, one, two, three, four, five, six, GFI handoff could be a thing. So let's put the line all there. First move. I've got to try and reboot my stream while we play only shot I had. Yeah, I guess it is. I guess it is. You turn seven. But he could have tried to not lose uh, rather than try to win. But of course, that's pretty lame, isn't it? I block him first. Irrelevant block because it's with block. And why not? Um, <laughs> basically. Where's the blitz going to come then? I don't know. One, two, three, four, five, six. GFI. Handoff. Um, I mean, he's in an alright spot. He could go here. Because there's no other way of him to score it. So we could do a three dicer there, and then he could blitz on three dice after he gets the ball. Alright, let's go then. Roll some dice. Ooh. Ooh. Glorious. Just roll sixes. This obviously sucks a bit because he's gone. I should have I should have assisted here, shouldn't I, so that he couldn't have sidestepped into a bad place. But just get a pow anyway. That's the best thing to do. If you're gonna blitz a sidestep and make sure you just roll a pow. And an AV break, of course. Absolutely standard AV break there. Um, put him up here. Double base the... Uh, double base the... Saurus so he can't blitz himself free to a mark. Um, and I guess an ogre block now is alright, isn't it? Yeah, 
I could even try and knock over that Saurus, couldn't I? Can he reach? No. Shit. Wouldn't have done that if I didn't have two re-rolls, but... A GFI means I'm two dice him, which is pretty good, isn't it? No. <laughs> Glorious! Glorious, wait, wait a minute. Is that a loop pack follow? <laughs> and thank you very much, Arch Villain, for the for the sub. And uh, <laughs> thanks to Loop Pack for the follow. That's great. Um, best to skip the game, yeah. Thank you very much, Arch Villain, for the sub. Thank you very, very much. Welcome to Team Fantastic. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's very hard for this source to do anything. I mean, that was a bit greedy to go for the 3 plus 2 plus 2 dicing, wasn't it? Pretty greedy. But, there you go. No, I wasn't going to try and greed it. I, mean, it was, I don't like to greed things anyway. And, uh, yeah, the fact that I, I thought about going for this. Because he, he can blitz and base, can't he? He can blitz and make a dodge to base. Glorious! <laughs> Glorious, thank you very much Faho for staying fantastic. Glorious. Um but yeah, I mean I've definitely had the better dice here, haven't I? He's quad skulled, even though it's technically a one in eighty one. Um he's done a few one in nines, he's I've broken more armour than he has, I've made more removals than he has. But I do think I have played rather well as well. And he didn't cage, did he? Uh in one situation. So he's going for the uphill blitz instead. Okay, fair enough. Uh, luckily, survive that. And he isn't a sidestepper, is he? So, easy clear with three dice. Is the lady in a dungeon? No. <laughs> um, right. So yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. Plenty of plenty of players there, so I'm actually just putting them directly back. I don't want to block without block particularly. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This can be three dice though. So Got him. Right, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, it is nine. This probably isn't worth doing for the risk of me misclicking. <laughs> um, obviously, if this was tabletop blood ball league. Of some variety, you would you would make this block a hundred percent of the time. This probably isn't worth attempting in Blood Bowl two for the, for the chance of misclicking the moves. <laughs> um, the gameplay is is fine. It's probably just the stream is. Ah, no, it is the gameplay is I guess a bit laggy. Yeah, but don't worry. Soon I'll uh, I'll I'll get a new PC and it'll be all right. Yeah, it is. It is a bit bad gameplay. I. I, I I take that on board, but it's it's temporary. This is just a a temporary solution. Streaming on the laptop before I get a, a new PC. So that was a pretty good half, wasn't it? Pro tips: how to roll well. <laughs> well, he got he got good KO rolls, to be fair. But I mean, if he hadn't, it would have been very one-sided. Another new. I got the the last new PC was two years ago. I scrolled three years ago. I got twenty fifteen is when I got. Um, I got that. Oh, thanks. <laughs> England won again. Oh, is this in chess? Oh, that's good. Yeah, I got the last PC. I got three years ago. So um, it's not like I've gone crazy. Um, yeah. There you go. 
Oh, you in the Euro Bowl, yeah, yeah. England are overpowered, aren't they, in tabletop blood bowl? To be fair, they don't even they don't even take the best English players. <laughs> you know, I don't think anyway. I don't think they even take. I think some of the people. I mean, without naming names, I think some of the people on the England team aren't as good as others on the England team. But. Um, they're still good, obviously. Even the, even the ones that I don't think I, it is two or three, I think, that are regularly on the England team that I don't think uh, are as good. But um, they're still fine, obviously. You know, they're still they're still good. Yeah, it is, yeah, it is jelly. Yeah, clique. They even had um, purple goose team in in the U in the UK championships team championships was. Uh, click and destroy which was funny because you know it is it is a bit it is very cliquey isn't it but there you go it is what it is it's the nature with everything like that i guess right he's letting us punch him um which i'm okay with i'm okay with it i'm not like that excited about it I'm going to go here, I'm going to blitz this guy and then assist with somebody else if I have to. Now he's done for the offset LOS, so again that's something I've got to defend against. What you don't want to do is do a Bernie Buffon from the World Cup and be completely completely de-pantsed against a uh, against a blitz or a perfect defense or anything in this in this kind of situation and we've got screens here if there's you know if he gets a blitz there's screen if he blitzes this guy there's still a screen if he blitzes this guy he's got to go all around the outside and um, if he blitzes this guy there's still a screen if he blitzes here there's screen so this seems relatively good this is the kind of weakest point, and it's still not that bad. Uh huh. Get hit by throw a rock. A blitz of stun from throw a rock is obviously not ideal. Captain obvious, because that was going to be one of the LOS blocks. That might force me into an early ogre block. Uh, right, I'm going to bl blitz him here anyway, from here, and see what happens to him. Both down. Nothing. Well, aren't I happy I did the uh, blitzer skink route? <laughs> That's really bad because I was going to block, I was obviously going to bring in a guy here. Two dice block him, then two dice block him, and now it's a bit screwed in it because if I come in for an assist block, then I could bring in another player for a two D there, and then another player. So it can still kind of work. Um, I'm going to bring him down in front of the ball. And Olga, Olga punch first. Got him. So now he can go in there. This doesn't leave me quite weak to some pressure from this side. When I say quite weak, I mean incredibly weak. So weak that I think I'm not going to do it. Could 2D him and then 2D him, but he blitzes him and pours through. So I think that's not a good idea. So even even though I've committed this guy here, I'm gonna change change my mind. And uh and reinforce reinforce this so he can't pour through with the skinks as easily. Very disappointing rock, to be fair. Do have the wizard as well if he if he does something fruity. 
If he does something fruity with the skinks. Oh, he's still got 11, hasn't he, because of the uh, reserve. Oh, I was hoping he'd have 10 players then. Hey, 1 in 9. Hey, 1 in 81. So, yeah. Luck is definitely holding for me, isn't it, at the moment? Despite that, uh, despite that guy there. He could block him, freeing him. He could come in for a block there, but I'd really like to blitz him with a blitzer, wouldn't I? Is what I would like to do. Um, he has to be. He has to be occupied. It might as well be with a guy who's slower. Could just stand him up and block with the ogre. It would be quite risky because there's no reroll available. But it's got the highest payoff payoff of him moving up here, and him blocking him, and then on a push he gets a three dice blitz. He gets to block with block, or he gets to block without block. And then he blitzes him if this is a pow. So he stands up. Whatever happens, and little bit risky block from the ogre, but with good payoff. Potential good payoff, but. Um, it did not happen. Right, so now I think I probably just blitz with the uh, straight up blitz with the um, blitzer. Blitz without the blitzer. Just a straight up blitz. Gets the pow. The idea being that it would lead into more blocks. Gets a KO. Cheeky. That means he can move up. At the moment, he can assist, get an assist in and hit the ogre. Um, you could blitz, block, block. If I bring this guy in here, this is this is a four plus to hit me, which isn't ideal, is it? I can't go on the sideline because of uh, stunty. So this is the safe move, isn't it? Making a cage. It's, it, it was kind of the idea of why I did it. I'm not going to make a cage here. This would probably be the better idea. Make the cage there. Um, I would really love to put a guy here just to stop the crocs hit on the on the uh, on the ogre, but then it does leave me quite exposed to a four plus two plus two d on the ball. I guess there's no real easy way through for the skinks afterwards. Could go here. I do quite like putting that guy on because. It's pretty easy for him to get the hit otherwise. Alright, so there's a bit bit of an exposed ball there. Bit of an exposed ball. Oh yeah, 5 plus. Yeah, I, I knew what I meant. Sorry, Jelly I meant 5 plus. He is a Jelly 1, so it would be a 5 plus. But um, it's still... It's still something you could think about doing, isn't it? It's it's fifty five percent with the reroll, so it's like a four plus, um, <laughs> if you commit the reroll. But yeah, um, it's still. I don't like just relying on a on a sort on a sort like relying on a sore as not dodging. I think isn't good play, even though it is a five plus. Um, Yes, no, yeah, absolutely, Jelly. No, you're very right to point it out. Thank you for that. Um, of course, there could be people that don't know. Um, when I started streaming, of course, lots of people didn't know. 
because Blood Bowl 2 was very new then. But there still is always new players coming in, isn't there? So I think I just lost sight of that and just started leaning around and... <laughs> Tommy Hellfigure. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, thanks very much, Jelly Deals. Yeah, and him, letting him getting punched by him wasn't great, but I mean, I think that would have been too big a commitment to move them two up to assist. Looks like he's going to commit to the Skink Dodgers. I thought that was a bit of a long way to go, to be honest. Um, so I didn't mind. I didn't mind them coming through. Now he's going to blitz space. No, but not the ball. Not the ball. Ooh, ooh, I think he should have followed there. Uh, with not following there, that means that I can uh, two dice to free up two players, doesn't it? Very nice. So push there frees up these two. The problem is they're, being, they're on the wrong side of the ball, isn't it? But they can still come in to assist this block. Um, we can free him up. He could blitz him even though he's sidestep. He can't stand up because he gets served. He could blitz this guy and then and then reunite the team that way. I think keeping the team together is more important than trying to progress down a sideline. So let's blitz this guy first because this blitz has block. Brilliant. Oh, but now the assist was going to come in there. Oh, balls. <laughs> right, now it's all going to be, it's all going to be t a bit peak tongue here. I need to power this guy now. And uh, if I do, it's all right. If I don't, it's going to be a bit tricky. I also need this to work. Which it does. <laughs> That's the opposite of a pal. <laughs> oh dear. I need a pal. Three skulls. Now I can't even block with the ball. I was going to push him into the ball carrier for a ball carrier block. But now I can't even do that. This is going terribly now, isn't it? Crikey. This is really terrible. Now pretty much all I can do is get my blitzers surfed, I think. It's about the only option open to me. This guy can't get through because of this blitzer. Not following, I should have followed. I can just go for it, I get oh, it's really bad because he can just block, get people free. He can't get through there though. Ball should be safe here. And then there's payoff to this, isn't there? No armor break again.
Because he can, he can always dodge a bunch of skinks through. He showed the uh, the willingness to do it last turn. So I, did, I didn't want to just leave it like this. He can easily get two skinks through. Saurus on the front. Dodge through with that skink. Run around with that skink and get two dice on the ball. It's not hard for him to do, really. Uh, but I didn't want to didn't want to risk the blitz. Maybe, maybe the blitzer should have stood up first. Maybe this blitzer should have dodged to here rather than this guy getting through the back. I don't know. Getting through the back would have shut down a skink dive. Um, yes, indeed, Jellyl. Yes. Uh, yeah, the idea was. Score if I could. Hello, Fan Fox. Uh, fellow console coach. <laughs> um, yeah, do you know what? If I get, I need to get better at internet, and then, and I need to get Blood Bowl on the Xbox, and then I can, then I can stream. Um, Xbox Blood Bowl, which will be better quality than this, probably, won't it? Oh, Ogre survived. Well done. Well done, Ogre. Knee capper. Man, knee capper. Well done. Oh, he nearly made a misclick there, didn't he? Or a mis miscalculation. Yeah, better quality graphics, yeah. That's what I meant. Surely, surely the Xbox One has better graphics than minimum minimum quality uh minimum quality uh PC. Surely is worse than um than Xbox One. No, I meant graphics, yeah. Yeah, obviously I meant graphics. Probably in this scenario of getting the ball carrier based and being in a world of hurt, this is probably a good time for a fireball, I think. To be honest, I've got. Oh, you, you upheld me. I can't really see the the chat because it's dead small as well. I'll, I'll get everything sorted better soon. Right. So that's interesting, isn't it? So these three are free. I think just start off with a fireball and, and see what happens. Because this is all quite. Oh, not there. Sidestep skinks are annoying. Saurus are annoying. Okay, get all three. That's not that's not a bad result, is it? Um, <laughs> not a bad result. He could go there, then I could two dice blitz the crocs with block. Um, on the other hand, I could bring two assists in. That I could be greedy. Do should I be greedy, or should I not be greedy? One, two. I think I should not be greedy. I think I should concentrate on on actually getting forward, and uh, if I move forward six here, I'm in range, aren't I? Thank you, and you're one hundred percent not downgrade. Thanks for that, Tony. Yeah, three out of three was all right. I actually would have surfed this guy if I hadn't knocked him over. If I'd knocked over one of the, uh, if I knocked over both of these and not him, I could have surfed him. And I could have still maybe surfed him if I hadn't, but yeah. So I could go in there and then blitz him. And then that's good, isn't it? I don't want to stand up this guy because I think I want to dodge with him at the end. Screen there is pretty good. All the down players are based. A push here. 
means that he gets based by the um, by the Lino there, but a pow uh, is obviously much better. That means he can't get uphilled. Can try the cro the ogre first. Nope. So now he has to stand there. It doesn't really matter, does it? I guess he can just stand up after all that. Hmm. Could dodge. At the moment, he can just straight up uphill me. So maybe a dodge to stop that is the best thing. No, not stop it. Make him make him roll the dice. And now, if I score on turn thirteen, it's should be a safe two nil, shouldn't it? Very lucky this whole game. <laughs> Thoroughly outbashed lizard man. I don't think he's made one AV break. Maybe he's. Oh, the thrown rock was a stun. That's about the only AV break he's made, I think. Six and all with Dark Elves when all games one nil. Yeah, that's pretty good, isn't it? That's pretty much perfect Blood Bowl, isn't it? Winning one nil with Dark Elves in tabletop. Also, there's a surf on this Saurus if he doesn't, if he like, if he goes for a some kind of desperation play, the surf on the Saurus is on. And if he goes for a desperation play that doesn't work, um, if he just like you know if he brings back the whole team to put pressure on, um, and obviously I can't, but. Guess he's going for the five plus two dice. There you go, he's done it. He's done the 5 plus dodge. And suddenly things don't look too good. <laughs> and the thing, a 5 plus dodge is, is not difficult to, to accomplish, is it? So if you leave yourself, if you leave your opponent the chance of that, they're going to make it, aren't they? A fair amount of the time. It's not wasn't ridiculous for him to make that at all. But I was just more worried about the uphill um, from the skink. Whereas I guess I should have, maybe shouldn't have been. But what can you do here? Eh? Right, he's got he's he's got a uh, side stepper. So let's punch the side stepper. See what happens. And again, brilliant. Um. <laughs> okay, I can free up this line off for a blitz. Maybe clear him, and then if I clear him, I can go one, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, double GFI. If I'm one tackle zone, I can go for the pickup in one tackle zone. Um, if I don't deal with these, they can free they can free each other up, which isn't good, is it? So I have to go for the uh, the ogre activation. Oh, that's pretty unlucky, double pawn head. That is pretty unlucky. Now GFI to get there to keep these guys tied down. Hmm. <laughs> I've only got one reroll left, so that is disappointing, isn't it? Because now we can free the Crocs. I could have only freed the Crocs. I didn't need a GFI. I could have just gone there, and it would have been the same thing. In fact, it would probably been better. No. No. Oh, well. At least he hasn't got anyone. Oh, he has got a receiving threat. Oh. Oh, this is this is looking pretty bad all of a sudden. <laughs> Where are all my players? It feels like I've got no players, and I've, yeah, I've got one man more than him. Yeah, didn't need the GFI. I, I thought he could free either up, but he could have only freed up the Crocs. Which he hasn't even gone for. <laughs> so I really didn't need the GFI. Oh, the du double skulls! Brilliant! So he did go for that play, which he couldn't have gone if I'd made the GFI. So it wasn't, it wasn't necessarily a terrible thing. Uh, but now these can both stand up first, because the Blitz wouldn't free the Crocs now. And... Yeah, can try and can try once again to hit this uh, sidestepping guy. Ah, interesting. All right, where does the ogre go then? I guess. Hmm. Which which square is this is this Saurus in? <laughs> He's in that one. All right. So this this isn't too dangerous to stand up here. I do want to blitz him and then go for the pickup potentially. So just stand people up is the most important thing, isn't it? Get them stood up. Make him roll dice at all. Got the pow. And then the ogre can go on the ball here, can't he? Get up there! Don't want to risk the pickup, the fail pickup. He, there's, he's got to roll dice here to get the ball, hasn't he? I think with him having all, no re-rolls, um, I think I'd just stay like this. Plenty of players around the ball. It does leave him that one dice scatter. But still. You can't get a scatter this way. With that block, is what I meant. So he does get the scatter, where will it go? It almost has to be a good scatter for me. He should have followed, I believe. Ah, three tackle zones. Not bad. 
I think he should have followed just for the, you know, he could have caught it and then run away or something. Yeah, Ogre getting the ball would have been ideal, wouldn't it, for sure. Hey, one in nine. He has had rotten days. <laughs> Even though he's got a cast. On a... Ah, it doesn't matter it was a 5 SPP point guy. All right, and the easy clears now, isn't it? Lads, boys, lads. Where is this guy? Zero. This guy's on three. So, while I probably could get a surf here, that's obviously a stupid thing to care about um, in the grand scheme of things. No. Oh, that I should have pushed there, so I could have blocked him again. I guess I'm blocking with this guy. Olga can go in there. I'll just blitz the uh, skink. That's what the internet tells me to do. If I go there, then uh, that's probably good. Because now, even if he blocks and gets a knockdown there, he can't assist because of that guy. He can cover there. So it's not easy for him to do anything still. Um. Could foul this one. <laughs> Get out of town. <laughs> Not a full gym foul, because armor was broken. Getting, I mean, he's had, he has had some rotten, he's had some rotten luck, hasn't he? No doubt about it. Although I'm proud of how I've played, um, he had, and and I think I've been, I've tried to be informative. I think uh, you know, obviously there wasn't any dice to whine about, so that made it easier to not whine about the dice by being very lucky. But um, I think I have had a better attitude anyway. So there you go. I think I've been better. Better saying what I've thought and that. So I'm happy with this. But yeah, this could have gone a lot worse against Lizards. He's literally only had about three or four armor breaks in the whole game. He's made as many AV breaks as I've made KOs. In fact, he probably hasn't. He probably probably made more KOs than he's made armor breaks because I've made three in the first half and two in the second. So. So yeah, when you make more KOs than your opponent makes armor breaks. <laughs> At least 20 second turns, exactly. But he gets that rotten dice. <laughs> I'm not. I'm probably not averaging sixteen AV breaks, but I made quite a few. Yes, Grindel, an entire game, and you have missed most of it. I'm sorry. <laughs> Pro Tips World Cup winning blood ball. He's made another five plus dodge. And gets another knockdown. Oh, but the other blitzer catch it. That's an on and scatter there. <laughs> A classic on and scatter there. Brilliant. World Cup level scatter catching. I don't 
know what the next team is to be honest right he's free he's got sidestep so one two three four five six seven gfi there's the temptation is just to blitz him and then one two three four five six seven or he could go assist he could block him he could fill in that square could i fill in this square somehow no so can't fill in the square but then if he goes there then at least he could get another block um so i think it is best to go here for the assist and here for the block at least at first And now this is a three dicer. No, no, he can just go there and stay. All right, all pals. <laughs> Not bad. Sidestep wherever you want. <laughs> For some reason, I thought he could only sidestep there, but that wouldn't. Oh no, that was no. So that was that was stupid. But that so it was absolutely the right idea. Sidestepper. So a little bit sad not to get a level, but it's still fine, isn't it? As long as you get touchdowns on blitzers. Much better to get touchdowns on blitzers than thrower anyway, really. In my opinion. I think getting more guard is much more important than block on the thrower. Um, Alright, let's just put three scumbags on the line. And everyone else back here somewhere. And yeah, I thought I did... I thought I did do a good job of thinking about things and explaining things, but yeah, obviously just mostly, mostly very lucky, I think, that game. No worries. Donald GW Legends. <laughs> yeah, that was brilliant. That was brilliant, the Darlow GW legend. <laughs> Thanks, Tony. Thanks, Tony, yeah. I did think I did a decent job of of thinking. <laughs> Rather than just raging about dice or just not saying anything and, you know, memeing along. Thanks, Jellio. <laughs> Vintage Jimmy. <laughs> Explain his one turner. Yeah, that's fair enough. So he's doing it the wrong way. <laughs> because what he's going to do is he's going to run around here and blitz him into there. And uh, he should have just not have that space. I've also kicked to not the middle square just by uh, bad motor functions. <laughs> he should have kept this square filled. And then he could have blitzed and then he would have got him forward straight away. So he's made he's made an error there instantly um but yeah the idea is he's going to push him in this hole and then push him forward and then push him forward again but yeah he absolutely absolutely the wrong thing to do um <laughs> especially with him having sidestep he could have had a player in there and then his guy would have already been one square forward already but this will be also he wants to cancel this assist yeah so he's got three dice Even with even with even if he even if he didn't have sidestep, he could have just had the the skink here, so he could have chained him out. Um, so it, you know he he didn't need the space even if he didn't have sidestep. But with him having sidestep, he really didn't need the space. Also, um, if he'd started here, which he would have done if he didn't have sidestep, he could have done the handoff first. He's got to think about when he does the handoff, because he can't throw it very well as a stunty player. So he can get there with just GFIs. No problem. Would I have set up to do a Crocs block? Mm, he hasn't got any re-rolls. As long as you can block with somebody else, then you might as well block with a Crocs, because if you knock him over, you've got Mighty Blow, haven't you? So 
So he probably doesn't need to make the dodge here. He can probably... Oh, no, he's going to probably have to make the dodge, actually. Yeah. He's made it, because otherwise the screen would be blue. And that's it. He's done it. But he, he did do one push that he didn't need to make. Uh, he, did, he did. And, you know, it, it, wasn't, it wasn't a terrible thing to do. But um, it also was strictly not optimal. <laughs> yeah, usually, usually, obviously, you wouldn't want to rely on Alana. And he nearly got it. He did nearly get it. But yeah. Um, yeah, normally you wouldn't want to block the cross. Just because you can get three dice with the Saurus anyway, can't you? That's the thing. A lot of the time. But yeah. Good. It was, it was a decent attempt, but yeah. It was strictly... Strictly, uh, strictly inferior to, to having that spot filled. Um, right, 120k, very nice. Uh, that's the third reroll. MVP for that Randall lineman. He's got MVP both times. He was the one who got hit by the rock as well. Unbelievable. Nine AV breaks to three. So yeah, I made I made four KOs and he only made three AV breaks. And he he did outblock me. Um, so yeah, I mean, you know, it's. Not so good on the GFIs. Not so good on the Dodgers. Not, uh, the catches, some were scatters, I guess. Boneheads were actually good. Uh, and did activate him a lot as well, actually, 13. Uh, his Dodgers were good. And his Boneheads were p slightly poor. But the big thing is the block dice, isn't it? 38, 43, 39. So actually fine block dice in terms of... Um, you know where they were 28, 38 tw 33 so I definitely didn't roll many skulls but he, he rolled a lot of things I rolled what one double skull was the only thing I had to re-roll block wise whereas he had a 1 in 9 into a 1 in 81 but he had block on that one rolled loads of pushes um, rolled the double skulls another double skulls so yeah I think I definitely Got very, very much better dice there. But I do think I played better as well. <laughs> Without being disrespectful to him, I do think I, I do think I played quite well. He, you know, he didn't he didn't cage it when he could have done, and I did put pressure on on his drive, I think. So I was happy with how I played. But if I hadn't got lucky, um I think it would have been a struggle no matter how well I'd played. Right, so probably just going to go block on him. Just get another block guy. He's probably good at low TV. Um, later on, I guess I'd take dirty player or something. But low TV, I just like plenty of block. Um, at high TV, I think it's more wrestle because you've got enough block. Wouldn't I? Wouldn't I don't know. Maybe he's not on a line. Maybe it's, I don't know. But there you go. Two games, two wins. Not bad. And hopefully return to form. Thanks for all the resubs, everybody. And thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.